Hey everybody, it's Sean and Trey with Reactions to the Classics. Before we get started today, we just wanted to invite you to take a look at our Patreon page where we have all kinds of reward tiers, anywhere from reacting to an entire album to songs, supporting us for as little as a dollar a month. It really helps us out. And you can also check out our Facebook and Discord groups down below. Got a great community of people who love music. And uh, all that to say, y'all, let's get to today's video. What's going on, everybody? Sean joined again by my son, Trey. And today we have a song reaction, Ike Riley, Notes from the Denver International Airport. Mm. Trey, you ever been to the Denver International Airport? I have not. I actually have. <laughs> I'm not a big airport fan, period, but it's a nice one. So this is off Ike's seventh studio album. He's taken five years off. This came out in June of 2015. Um, and that's really all I know about this song. Well, I'm uh, I'm looking forward to hearing it. Uh, Craig, the guy who brought it to us, said that he's kind of from the uh, Chicago-ish area. Yeah, uh, great singer-songwriter. You know, so I'm I'm a big fan of singer-songwriters. So am I. This has been described as a cross between Springsteen and the Replacements. Two of my favorites. I was going to so. say we, they're both hanging up on the wall yeah. behind us. Yeah, that's true. Ironically, so enough, so, <laughs> so uh, big shoes to fill. Um, I'm looking forward to that. So uh, we'll pull up the lyrics and um, just. Get, get this playing. I'm looking forward to hearing this, and then give our thoughts afterwards. So let's uh, let's get to Mr. Ike Riley. Stuck here in a cow town, looking for a way out, drinking to a thing called change. My last bowl's cashed out, clogged up and won't draw. Looks like I gotta fly straight. And then the next thing I saw was a truckload of cannibals heading to the DIA. Seeds in my change. Definitely can hear that Springsteen influence. Springsteen, even a little Dylan-esque on yeah. the delivery. Overheard some blessed men underneath the white tents mixing up bourbon and faith. The next round was my bus. Sorry, boys, I gotta fly. Gotta make my way to the gate. And then the next thing I saw, the bar filled up with cannibals right here at the DIA. Great injection of energy there, man. And they're going somewhere that seems just like Oregon. Dressed so clean and fresh, they don't look just like anyone. Walking arm and arm over everyone. It's the final boarding call for the chosen one. Yeah! Can't wait to come the chosen ones. Oh, can't wait eating flesh and drinking blood. Walking on the arm of everyone. Can't wait to watch out for the chosen ones. Yeah. 
Have it, ladies and gentlemen. Notes from the Denver International Airport. I like that it uh, it never said that in the title. No, it just called it the DIA. DIA. Yeah, too much to say, man. No, absolutely. For a second, I was like the DIA, and then it yeah, it took me the same thing. I'm like DIA. Like, oh yeah, duh. Denver International <laughs> Airport. That is the uh, official initials of it. Um, but yeah, heavy heavy Springsteen influence in there for sure. Uh, you can definitely kind of tell too, just with the. The band with the piano coming in exactly. and, the, and the guitar, I definitely... Changing uh, tempos from oh, gets real quiet and then bangs out. And, it, exactly. It has, a in that chorus, a bit of an anthemic type of yeah. um, you know vibe to it uh, where you could just picture yourself either in a bar or uh, you know at a, at a concert just shouting out. Um, and um, it, it's interesting here. Then the next thing I saw, the bar filled up with cannibals. Um, I'm back in line with the suits like some animal, drinking to the end of the day, drinking to the end of days. Um, I, I wonder who who he kind of envisioned the, the cannibals being. That, that's what I was wondering, too. Is it the rich businessman mm -hmm. that's, that's coming through the airport? I don't know. I've never heard of Ike Riley. I know this album, when I was researching this, uh, Born on Fire, is very well acclaimed. And after I heard this song, I'm going to have to check that out. Yeah, no, I, I definitely do. What do you think of it? Yeah, I'm gonna give it. It's it's you know it's one of those songs like you kind of described it well, anthemic and just all the changes and and very songwriting's very good. I would give it a seven point five on first listen. What about you? Yeah, I'm gonna be right in that wheelhouse, man. I thought it was a a, a very good song. But I'm gonna check him out more, man. Yeah, no, it, it definitely intrigued me, and that's what I like doing this. You know, Craig and others. Yeah, always, Craig, thank uh, you, man. Always bring forth these artists that um, you know you're not familiar with because i mean music it's like an ocean there's just so so much out there that uh whenever somebody brings you something cool like this uh, it's like okay i can go check out a new artist that uh is intriguing yeah we talk about this all the time there's good artists out there now today mm -hmm. you just got to look hard to find them sometimes mm -hmm. and that's what a lot of you uh, patron supporters do so thank you so much because i would have never Heard of Ike no. Riley if it wasn't for this. So thank you for that, Craig. <laughs> exactly. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that big thumbs up. Uh, let us know what you thought of the song as well as any other suggestions down below, y'all. And uh, until next time, thanks so much for watching. Happy listening, and we will see you.